Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just put a short video together, just running through a fault on this 2011 Peugeot 307. This one's a 1.6 diesel. We can get this same fault on the petrol models as well. Now I'll just run you through what we've got. It's a bit of an intermittent fault, but basically on the dash, when it's running, we're getting a braking fault flashing up on the little warning up there. Um, we've got some, sometimes the, the engine lights on, we've got engine faults flashing up, the power steering, we're sometimes losing the power steering, it's going heavy. Uh, we've plugged it in to a diagnostic machine, so we're using the snap-on scanner, but we've basically got faults in all the ECUs um, relating to the speed information. Now the only, in, the only ECU that we can't actually get into is the ABS ECU, there's no communication with that one at all. Um, looking at the engine management there, we've got PO500. We've got some communication ones there, but the PO500 is a speed information absent fault. And if we just scroll down, we've got the power steering ECU there. Again, no communication and an absence of the vehicle speed info. The speed info missing on the instrument panel. Just one more thing you can get as well. It's been intermittent on this one, but you can actually also with this fault lose the speedometer or go as well. Um, but if we just go down a bit further, so you've got more speed information faults there as well. Now we'll clear the codes out and they just come straight back in. Sometimes you can clear them and the fault might actually go away for a couple of miles and then come back on. Um, but I'll just run you through what we've found now. Um, just before we get into it as well, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, just click on the red subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss out on any future content. Now I just thought I'd put this video together to just see if it helps someone, save them a bit of time. Uh, this this fault can actually relate to an issue with the ABS pump itself. PO500 is quite common to that, and again for when it's missing speed information. We have actually had the pump off this one and checked it. Um, you can strip the pump down, take the cover off, and there's like a little circuit board um, that uh, it gets damaged. You can just see like a little burnt hole on it. Um, but on this one, the fault's actually relating to the fuse board here. Basically, to get to this, you've just got a couple of covers on there to take off. That's all. And it's always on this brown plug, the centre one. I'll just take these out and then I'll just show you where the issue lies. It's always worth just checking this quick before you go anywhere else. And you can just see on the underneath of the brown plug, just towards this side there, and see how badly corroded that is there. And actually in that hole there, there is actually a pin from the fuse board that snapped off and rotted in it altogether. And I'm just looking in the actual board itself. Again, you can see all that corrosion in the bottom there. Now, when I took this off, it's actually been off for a couple of hours. When I took it off earlier on, there was actually quite a bit of water just sat up in the bottom of the, the board there. So now I believe what the issue is, we've read quite a bit about this in the past. Um, this is probably gonna be the issue that you've got with yours if it's like this, but one of these wires actually runs for the screen washer pump and the, the pump fails and the water actually tracks through the wire and into the board there. So you will actually need to replace the screen washer pump as well, or you will actually stop the problem. Um, but the best way to deal with it is you really, you obviously you can get a new board, but you do need a new connector as well. So normally when we do these, we just get a second hand board and just match it up from the number off there. And you can, if you're lucky, you can get a board with a connector on it. Obviously you just want it sort of cut off with as much wire as you can really. And then you can just chop the existing loom, just chop them one at a time and just rejoin, resolder all the wires there and just simply refit it all. That's probably about the cheapest way to fix it. So we have had the issue a few times now, but it's not, it doesn't always relate to the issues that this one's having. Obviously, depending on what pins it's right out, you can have all sorts of different problems. So it's always worth for a quick check, just taking the cover off, taking that off. If you have a look and you see it's corroded in there, it's quite obvious that you're going to have a bit of an issue. So. Yeah, hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.